Welcome to the Zions Bank Economic Update. I'm Deb Speed and joining me is Robert Spenlove to discuss the economic ins and outs of the annual ritual known as back to school shopping. Robert, this time every year, parents and students alike tend to go back and try to find all the supplies they need for school. So how does it look for this year? It's looking really good. Americans are expected to spend about $76 billion on back to school shopping this year. That's up about 12% since last year and up almost 30% in the last decade. And then when we drill into the numbers a little bit more, what we see is that spending on K through 12, so on kids uh, kindergarten through 12th grade, is up about 55% in the last decade, and college spending is up about 18%. Wow, $76 billion sounds like a lot of money. What does that mean when you're looking at it per household? Yeah, you're right, $76 billion is a lot of money. In fact, back to school spending is the second largest component of consumer spending uh, throughout the year after Christmas holiday shopping. So it's, it's a really strong economic mover. Each American family is expected to spend about $673 on back to school supplies leading into the 2016-17 school year. Of that, we're gonna see around $235 on clothing and accessories, $126 on shoes, $108 on school supplies, and over $200 on electronics. And that, in the last decade, the spending on electronics has jumped by over 78%. What's really interesting is when you look at when it occurred, the, the spending increase really started to happen in 2007, which is right when Apple introduced the iPhone. So what we're seeing is that now the smartphone is essentially becoming a basic school supply. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. In addition to advancements in technology adding to that cost, why else are we able to spend more money than last year? One of the biggest inputs that we're seeing is the uh, impact of lower oil prices and lower gas prices. So in the last two years, oil prices have dropped from around $100 a barrel to about $50 a barrel. And that lower oil prices have caused gas prices to drop too. Lower gas prices turns into more disposable income into the pockets of consumers. So what they're doing is they're going out and they're spending that money on, on uh, going on vacation, entertainment, eating out, but also buying more goods and services. So people have more money to spend on back to school. Then we add into that the fact that wages have increased in the last year about 2.6%. 2, 2 Not huge growth, but good growth. And then an, incre uh, an improving job market is creating a, a strong economic environment and creating the environment where people can spend more, which also turns into a better overall economy. Well, this makes me feel better about all the money I'm spending on my four kids to go back to school. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, Robert. Thank you for joining us for this economic update. For more information and analysis, please visit zionsbank.com economy.